friends and welcome to coffee with my sunshine today i am working on some more fun diy decor dupes and most of these are going to be from the magnolia line so if you like that type of decor then please keep watching for my first one i am going to recreate this beautiful vase i saw on the magnolia website i thought it was so pretty i love the texture on the vase and the lavender of course is one of my favorites so I'm going to start by using one of these from the dollar store. You can pretty much get these anywhere at any craft store, Michael's, Joy and Fabrics, that kind of thing too. But this is from the dollar store. And then I am also going to use some cheesecloth and some glue. You can use Mod Podge too if you have it. Now all I'm going to do for mine is add some of the glue right up on just about like that much of the vase. And I'm going to spread it just with my finger. And I'm going to start here at the end, maybe on this side. And I'm going to try and lay it out evenly. like that and then I'm going to keep going around and adding the glue <laughs> stuff is so lightweight and easy to work with but kind of whoa has a mind of its own <laughs> probably don't need that much glue and I'm going to continue rolling and that's what it's going to look like then you just want to cut off the excess. And of course you could have measured it out before you started gluing it. That way you had the perfect amount. I don't know if you can even see the texture. Yeah, probably would have been less messy to do it beforehand. <laughs> then if you have any of these little flyaway ones at the top, just go ahead and put a little bit of glue on your finger. And just glue it down. And if you're going to put real, if you're going to put water in here, like real um, florals and water, make sure the glue stays on the outside of your vase because I don't know if it would hold up if it was sitting in water but this is what it looks like right now and if you're impatient like I am grab your blow dryer and dry the glue So here is our vase. I don't know if you can, I don't know if it's picking up that texture. And here's my lavender that I picked. It's not as dry as the picture, but I still think it's really pretty. And then this next one, I didn't know how I was going to make it, but I just loved the wood grid pattern in the background of these frames. But then I went to Goodwill and I found this. Hold on, let me get it out. It is a bag of all of this material to make baskets and stuff. So I think I'm going to use this thicker one. I'll show you better in a second. 
um, to do that project and it was only I'm going to cover this up because it has people's because it has somebody's information on there but that's the price $5.99 for this whole bag the lady at the cash register was shocked she wished she had found it first and I have round frames but I like this one I have a couple different sizes of these oval ones so I thought it would be cool to do um, a couple in different sizes but for this video I'll just do this one so you can kind of get the idea so here's just some of it they're all like different sizes I think I'm gonna use this size okay. the other reason I like this one is because it has kind of a deep um, edge here so that I can attach this and I've honestly never worked with this stuff so I don't know if it would be best to use wood glue or hot glue but I'm going to start with hot glue and see how it does. I'm just going to kind of measure how I want it and then cut it. Oh, cuts fairly easy too, so that's good. I cut it a little bit bigger so that I can cut the, um, the edges kind of rounded. I've seen people soak this so that you can kind of bend it the way you want, but I think I'm using small enough pieces where I won't have to do that. We'll see. I don't know where they got this because it didn't come with like the original tags, but I'll try and find some, um, some links maybe at craft stores or Amazon or something. Stuff's actually kind of fun to use. And I know my mom, or I think my mom, ordered some because we're going to make some tobacco baskets. All right, I think I'm going to start with the middle one first, just to make sure I get it on straight. With that being hot glue, if I flip it over and find out that they're all like really wonky or crooked, I can just pull it off and try again. That's what's funny about doing some crafts with the camera because you can't get at like weird angles like you normally would when you're crafting to make things work or to see if they're lined up because usually the camera's in the way <laughs> so it's kind of funny and tricky at points have you guys ever used this material for your crafts or making baskets or what um just so i know because i have so much now that i can use what's like the best glue or um, adhesive or whatever to use when using this stuff you guys have the best tips and ideas so if you have any i would love to hear them What's cool and funny sometimes is after I do a video and then go back and, you know, talk with you guys in um, the comments or whatever, you'll leave me ideas and it's like, oh my gosh, that's like brilliant. Why didn't I do that? Or why didn't I think of that? So I love going back and talking with you guys and reading comments. And sometimes I don't get to answer all of them, but know that I do read them. Well, so far so good. Now I just need to do the ones that go in the other direction. Alright, I think for the ones going in this direction, I'm going to use the thinner stuff. I apologize, my neighbor's mowing their lawn. <laughs> So this was another thing I found at Goodwill, but I'm going to keep it this wood color. I think it's really a pretty color. It says Solid Oak, Made in the USA, Kennedy Brothers Ink, it looks like. 
Um, but I'm guessing it's for keys and maybe to hang your purse or a hat or ties or something, but I don't know what this would be used for. They're like little slats. But I think it's kind of cool and I think this would be perfect hanging in our bedroom right inside the door so that we can hang our keys and stuff and when we're on our way out we can just grab them but it was a dollar 99 so i'm not going to change that up in any way Now this one is weird because when I grabbed it, I was really excited because I've been looking for a pineapple bookend or sculpture. And then when I got it home, I'm like, that's not a pineapple. Looks more like an artichoke or something. <laughs> so I don't know what I was thinking when I grabbed it, but I got it for $2.99. And the sticker doesn't say, you know, where it's from. Just says made in China and it was $14.99 originally. So I'm gonna paint this up. I saw one on Ballard Design. I'll insert the picture here and I'm going to try and make it look like that because I think it's really pretty. So the black isn't bad, but I think the white with some of the um, like maybe cream or beige um, color in you know in the grooves and stuff might make it stand out a little bit more. So I'm just going to use some acrylic paint in white and some in vintage white. And I didn't want to spray paint it because I didn't want it necessarily all coated like one solid um, coat of white but because I thought some of the black showing through might look cool but we'll see I might get annoyed with all these little <laughs> grooves and end up spray painting it I think I'm going to do one more coat because if you are up close it's still kind of streaky and then I'm going to do this in the cracks I figured I would just put it in the little like crevices, but I might not like it. We'll see. Probably can't even tell on the camera, can you? The difference in colors. For this one, I really like this little wooden tray. It's like a little trinket stand, but I thought it would be great to use like your old vintage cutting boards. Or probably not vintage, because you don't want to ruin like an antique or anything, unless you have no other uses for it. Um, but this is just an old one that I picked up a long time ago at Goodwill. And usually I have this setting on my counter with um, a candle on it. Um, so I thought it would be super cute to put the legs on it, like in that picture. And that's going to be super easy. So let's get started. You're only going to need your cutting board and also some sort of dowel or maybe broomstick handle from the Dollar Tree. And then you just cut your legs the size that you want, depending on how tall you want your little stand to be. And I'm using my trusty little saw that I used a lot actually in my last video. And I'm just going to just eyeball it and then start cutting and then I'll make two more after this. Now you have your three legs. All right, and normally this is where I would use wood glue, but I can't find mine actually. <laughs> I just had it for my last video, but so I'm going to use hot glue, but if you want it to stay 
really well and permanently, or not permanently, but for a very long time, then I would use wood glue. Um, so just for right now, I'm going to be using my hot glue gun. You want to make sure you're putting these far enough apart so that it doesn't just tip over, especially if you're going to put like a candle or something on here. it's really cute really sturdy uh, you could use things like stuff that you'd want by your stove something like that oh don't mind my napkins <laughs> I love Betty Boop and my neighbor gave that to me um, it was in her garage sale Or you could use it by your sink. I don't know if this will fit on there. Maybe if we do it a little bit differently. I've made something similar, but I used the wood beads. I think these legs make it a little bit taller and a little bit cuter. And sometimes like this picture, I love everything in it, but I might have something similar at home. So instead of maybe going out and spending a lot of money to buy the stuff or the stuff to make it, just shop your own house and see if you can come up with like a similar setup or display like this it's kind of similar to the one in that picture and then like these florals that I have they're not exactly the same but they might do the trick Or like that pickle jar that I did in my last video. That would look really pretty too. This isn't the bowl that's in the picture, but it might look just as pretty. And something like this, you could even put it on top. And then these beads, they're the ones we made in the last video. I've also done a bunch of the clay beads or wood beads. In the picture, they had a cute little candle holder in the back. I don't have a cute candle holder right now, um, but you could put a candle like that. If your style is more something like this. Obviously, you'd play around with the placement and stuff. Or if that wasn't your style, you could use a wood bowl. It would probably look better if this was a different color wood, but just go with it. And then maybe some black beads. And then I'm just going to use those same florals, but use whatever you'd like. space your own and whatever you're happy with and sometimes for me at least sometimes just the photographs online of like the display or layout is what I'm attracted to not necessarily the exact things in there so that's what I try and do first is shop my home first or thrift stores or garage sales 
Well, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. Don't forget to leave me your video ideas in the comment section. Pop in and say hi. And if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe and join our awesome YouTube family. And I want to say thank you so much for everybody who comes by faithfully to watch my videos and show me support and to chat with me in the comments. I really appreciate you and love you all. I hope you're having a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye.